I think it's just 4.7 here. And welcome back. This is actually, um, it led me to the door of the market. The, the market sewers, which I haven't been in yet. And I wanted to explore that with you guys. So, here we are. Checking it out. I'm a little sad that our Boots of Spring Hill Jack didn't glitch out. But, it's not something that I'm too, I'm not too torpid to gut about it. There's some pretty rad places here in the sewers that you could hang out and find a pretty decent place to, to live, you know? It's kind of gross water, so I wouldn't necessarily trust the, the drinking water down here, but you can find a place to chill, at least. Oh, bandit. Really? Come on, douche. What you got? Huh? Huh? Come on. Tool. Uh, no. Nothing. Well, nothing of value or relevance. When do I get this skeleton? Oh, I have to do Nocturne's quest, don't I? Nope, nope, nope. I'm, I'm good. I mean, it's cool, but we, we really need to get back and be like, hey, the best defense basement. Oh, neat. All right. There you go. Cool. My security skill is almost 275, which I'm kind of excited about. Oh, dang, hang on. Yeah, we should probably... Thankfully, they don't really worry about the noise you make forcing the lock in this game. They're not selling anything. It's probably still pretty late. Can we continue? Yes. What is that about? Alright. Whatever. Follow your route, Mr. Guide Map Thingy. Compass. Hi, Imperial Guard. It'll be kind of a boring job. Crime doesn't really happen much in the Imperial City. Despite it being a big ass city. Yeah. Oh wait, it's right here, isn't it? Hell yeah. Path of the the shortest path. Look at you being all efficient. Hey. You're back. You have the scrolls. I can hardly believe it. I have spent seven years learning how to translate the scrolls. Even so, I will need a while to decipher what I've sought for. So desperately. Okay. What happens now? Ah, still thinking about your reward, eh? I have not forgotten. Give this ring to Countess Umbranox in Anvil. Say nothing about me to her. Need to know how she reacts. May provoke anger or tears. Just tell her a stranger wanted her to have it. Mm-hmm. Then report back to me on her reaction. Okay. Got it. Wedding ring. Countess Umbranox. So there's a couple things of importance, right? So one thing that he like he just said it. A stranger wants you, wants her to have it. And uh, what I think is that the stranger that forges the document for you is actually the gray fox or the guy that proves, uh, that 
turns out to be the great, the the gray fox. Now that doesn't necessarily make it so, but you can tell by his face if you remember what the, what the stranger looks like. I, I'm not gonna, uh, I won't be able to edit in the face or whatever, but it would be interesting, I think, to to see how the the faces match up between the stranger. And the count, count fellow. <sighs> Goodness, I've been recording on like a lot, a lot of today. It's been a blast. Uh, hey, lady, what's up? Well, thank you. Ring belonged to my husband. He's been missing, He's been missing for over ten years. years. For some reason, his name and face escaped me at the moment. How did you get it? Do you know his whereabouts? Why are you showing it to me? Take it. It's a gift from a stranger. My husband's wedding ring. I never thought to see it again. What I wouldn't give to see him once more. See? The stranger. By the power of the Elder Scrolls, I name Emmer Derelon as the true thief of Nocturnal's cow. You're the Grey Fox? I've been betrayed! I am the Grey Fox, but you have not been betrayed. <laughs> I am also your missing husband, Corvus. Corvus? Corvus. Is it really you? Ten years I've waited for word from you. Why did you yep. hide from me? Dressed just like the stranger. He totally is the stranger. The former guildmaster of the thieves. I became the new guildmaster. But I also received its curse. Whoever wears Nocturnal's cow shall have his name stricken from history. Once I the cow, no one in all of Tamriel could recognize me. With the cow, not even you. The gray fox. Without it, I was a stranger, even to you. You mean you mm -hmm. were unable to return? I've stood right next to you, and you didn't even know it. I cried. <laughs> over you. Here I am. It's me, Corvus. But you just looked at me, confused. You were broken, my heart, for a second time. I cannot let the infamous criminal mastermind, the Grey Fox, become the Count of Anvil. If you try to announce yourself as Corvus, I will deny you. I will deny you before the Emperor if I have to. I guessed you would say these terrible things to me. That is why I brought my friend along. Oh, yeah. Forward, I renounce my life of crime forever. I am passing the Grey Cow of the Thieves Guild to its new guild master. The Grey Cow is now yours. You are the new guild master. Of the thieves guild. Yeah, yeah buddy. Tonight. Such is the power of Nocturnal's curse that lifting it can alter time itself. History has been altered. What is different? Caroloth had not stolen Nocturnal's cow. The thieves guild would never fall on such hard times. Uh huh. Because of the curse, he was unable to operate in the normal world of business and society. He could only right. act as the guild's figurehead. That has been undone. If you go to the Imperial City, you will find that the they have a guild hall. guild hall on the site of the ruins of Daralon. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The Grey Fox. Beware the shadows. <laughs> Armand Kristoff and Scriva. They can make all your. Oh, right. Shadow hide you. I don't have any bounties. At the moment. Wait, what? Anyone seeing me remove the cowl does not associate me with the gray fox. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. So, you can. With the gray cowl, with the gray fox's cowl on. You can do some pretty nasty crimes 
And when you take off the cowl, your wanted level goes away. It's pretty freaking rad, actually. I very much like it. I don't know how frequently I'll use it, but it's something nice to have on hand in the event that I have to kill people in crowded areas and some other various things of that nature. Check out the guild hall. And then I think I have to finish up recording for the day because I need to plan some D&D &D for tonight. D&D &D for tonight. Yes. Yes. If it'll load. Come on, man. You can do it, PlayStation. I haven't run my PS3 this much in a long time. I've been playing a lot of Xbox One and PS4. I want to run Blue Dragon, which is on 360. I don't even know if my 360 even still works. It's there. It's plugged in. But I don't know how it's going to work. Probably has a, has a massive software update. Did you just freeze on me, game? No. We're going we're gonna to ride it out. We're going to see what happens. Uh, you never know, I guess. <laughs> That's delicious. Deliciousness, man. Alright, I'm... That sucks. Well, well, well. I think we might have a full freeze on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. The first one of this recording, of, of this game, I'm kind of surprised it took this long. Really. <laughs> uh, but we are... Not out of time, of course. We're going to go ahead and end it, because I don't think we're going to get anywhere with it. Until next time, Bumblebee Tuna. We'll see you next time.